G'day, welcome to Matt's workshop. I've noticed that when I cut MDF on my projects that um, quite often the, um, the pieces don't fall through properly or even after focusing them with the lens tool that came with the laser machine. So this was sent with my laser machine. It's supposed to measure the gap between the bottom of the uh, laser head and the workpiece. So um, the machine I'm using is a Chinese laser, 80 watt. It's a red and black laser and um, also known, I think, as an X700. So basically what I want to do is find out if this piece accurately focuses the laser and if not, what's the correct focus gap for my machine. So in this video, I'm going to check the focus of the laser and then find the optimal cut and power uh, settings as well as speed settings for cutting 3mm MDF. Now the MDF I'm using is um, coated with a white, sort of a white melamine and um, that will just be easier to, to see what's going on. It's also a lot easier to clean up just because you can wipe it down with a wet wipe so you can actually get rid of some of the soot and mess that's on the top of the board. So um, by using um, the best power settings for your machine um, the laser obviously you'll extend the life so you don't want to be running at 80 or 90 percent power when 40 percent or 50 60 whatever percent power uh, will will work um, so the less power that you need to cut the material uh, the better so for the life of the machine so if you want to produce pieces quicker then you can increase the speed but by increasing the speed, you'll also need to increase the power of uh, the laser cut. So what I want to be able to determine is when I increase the speed of the laser cut, how much power do I need to increase to make the cut efficiently? So I'm going to leave the um, method um, of how I'm performing this experiment below so you can read the whole lot in the contents. Um, but right now, let's get into it. So I've got my um, lines drawn up, starting um, at the top. Uh, I've got 15 millimeters per second, 10% power, going up in increments of 10% until we get to 80% at 15 millimeters per second. Then we're going to 25 millimeters per second, starting at 10% power, going all the way up again in increments of 10, up to 80% power. So that's the order of our cuts. Now what we need to do is position the timber into the laser machine. So what I'm going to do is um, position this block here, which is uh, roughly 10 mil, but it's just to give it a slope. And I've marked this spot on my edge here so that I can always um, put it back in the same spot after I've done my cuts. And what I've done is using this focus, I've focused it roughly center of the board at the height of this little unit that was sent with the machine. So what I'm going to do is turn the machine on. It's going to get noisy, but let's bear with it and we'll do the cuts. Without moving the uh, workpiece yet, you can uh, definitely see uh, the laser out of focus, coming into focus, and going back out of focus again. So this is our area that uh, we want to examine, and the same again, this is the 25 millimeters per second. It's uh, a lot neater and clearer in this area here. And then obviously it's going out of focus and got a very wide kerf or even burn there. Haven't checked it out yet, but let's have a look. So this is our cut piece, our test piece. I'm just going to clean it up and just use a, uh, a wet wipe. So if we examine this, uh, just for a, a reminder, this is the 10% cut down to 80%. 
and that's at 15 millimeters per second. This is the 10% cut at 25 millimeters per second, going down to 80% power. Now, let's have a look and see how we, we can do this. So, none of them cut all the way through on this edge. But we're going to examine the middle section on the back. So, this is the area that we want to look at, where it looks nice on the front. So, we'll mark that on the back. And we can see that um, we've got this area here is cutting through nicely getting some burn marks here um, if I look at the board that could have been where the block was sitting so we'll ignore those little burn marks at the moment but um, looking at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80 percent at 15 millimeters per second um, the nicest, cleanest cut that we can see in, um, in this one here uh, is roughly the 40 to 50 millimeter mark. So that's a uh, uh, percent mark, 40 and 50 percent. So if we want to use the least amount of power to cut through, um, I'm actually going to set it up to run at uh, 50 percent. And I'll do one at 40 percent as well and we'll see what it looks like. So we'll do another test piece at 40% power and that's going to be at uh, 15 millimeters per second and we'll also do one at 50%. Looking at the 25 millimeters per second um, we can see on this one that it's really only going through properly in this area here so we've got 80, 70, 60, 50. So 60% looks like a good starting point um, and 70% is a possibility as well. So I'll do a 60% and a 70% at 25 millimeters per second. So before we do that, what we need to do is reposition this piece of timber back into the laser cutter. At the same spot that we had before and now we need to find out what the distance is at this point so using the depth gauge focus gauge between the tip of the laser head and the workpiece at this point that will be our new focal gap optimum optimal focal gap so <laughs> So these are the um, shapes that I'm going to cut and um, I've adjusted the height of the workpiece so I'm going to cut at 40% and 50% at 15 millimeters per second. Then the other two shapes are going to be cut at 25 millimeters per second at 70% and 60% just to see how we go. <laughs> So we can see without even moving the workpiece that the first two fell through. That's 15 millimeters per second at 40 and 50 percent. The last two at 25 millimeters per second at 60 percent and 70 percent didn't fall through, even with quite a hard press. To sum up, I've had to cut a new depth gauge. It was out by a few millimeters, uh, actually not really a few millimeters, about one to maybe yeah, about one millimeter out. So I've made an, I'll make a new depth gauge and attach it to a uh, lanyard so I don't lose it. The other thing that we tested was those cuts and the speed and power. So I wanted to find the optimal cut for this. So I'm sticking between the 40 and 50 percent at 15 millimeters per second. Both of them drop out. That's a nice tighter fit. Um, but uh, just as a test, I also did one at 80% uh, power, 25 millimeters per second. And although it does fall out, and it is a clean cut, uh, it's not, it doesn't cut all the way 
well, it did cut all the way through. It's just hard to tell, but it's not. It doesn't drop out like the others do. So you can speed it up, but obviously, if you're speeding up, the power needs to go up. So if you want to save on the power and the extend the life of the laser and use less power, then these cuts here will be fantastic. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. I hope you've enjoyed this experiment on uh, testing out uh, the focal height and um, the focal gap of the, uh, the laser as well as the speed and power settings for cutting this 3mm MDF. This can be used on uh, other materials as well, just repeat the process on the other materials until you find the optimum settings that uh, cut for uh, your machine. If you have uh, any comments or um, ways that it may improve on uh, this process uh, just leave a comment below hopefully it'll help me as well as others uh, if you haven't already uh, please subscribe and put the bell on to be notified of any future videos and uh, if you liked it give me a thumbs up and uh, just uh, share it along so others can uh, learn as well um, and I'll leave a link uh, to all the uh, processes that um, I went through, the method that I went through with this little experiment down in the comments below. Uh, you'll also find down there uh, my social media and website links. Until next time, take care. Cheers.